What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over why Apple is my absolute favorite stock in my long-term Robinhood dividend portfolio. You guys, I do realize Apple does not have the best dividend, but it does have a little sum sum, so I do like that. But you guys, I really just want to kind of take a deep dive into Apple and explain to y'all why it is my numero uno investment, you guys. So let's get it. Yes, Apple is my number one favorite stock, which at least, I mean, I like so many. It's definitely one of my top three, but if not, it is my absolute favorite. In my last video, the dividend paycheck video, if you commented down below my top three favorite stocks, you were gonna get $25. So shout out to Scott. He was the one who guessed it correctly. Y'all were so close. Some of y'all were off though. For real maybe some of y'all need to watch some more of my videos but with that being said shout out to scott he was the winner he did get that 25 dollars. he told me he was gonna buy a share of at&t with that so congrats good job way to make your money and make more money it's something we should all seriously be doing and that's why i love to talk about on my channel but for everybody else make sure you're watching my videos from start to finish you never know when your girl's gonna throw in another little pop quiz slash reward type situation for you and also make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell notification so when I do upload, you have a shot as well. Just join the crew, join the journey. On this channel, I post two times a week minimum all about money, investing, stocks. I just like making money, having a good ass time, taking you guys on a journey, entertaining, educating y'all. So if you are into that, please consider subscribing. The crew and I would love to have you. Now, I have mentioned in a plethora, and I feel like I say that too much. I'm gonna tone that down. <laughs> but I have said in a multitude, multitude, magnitude, in a lot of, let's just keep it simple, girl. You, you just. This. I have talked about Apple in a ton of videos and why I love it so much and what I really think separates it from a lot of other companies but I wanted to just be a fangirl for a second here and just really dive into exactly why I like it my thought process behind it so for like the next 10 minutes or so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna relate the company from a consumer customer standpoint to an investing standpoint and just really try to help you guys understand that I my personal opinion here believe that Apple is one of the best investments that you you could possibly make and besides that I mean the fact that Apple has literally one of the best if not the best financials in the entire industry in the entire market so we're not really going to be touching about numbers and data and you know all that kind of stuff I'm really gonna go based off the business model in the company because good old Warren Buffy said that if you do not understand the business you should not be investing in that company so it's very important for us to understand the fundamental of the business itself what we see them do how we see them interact with their customer base how they're performing and market share and just all that kind of good stuff so you guys let's just go ahead and dive into some things so first things first is just the product line the marketing the brand and just the overall consumer and customer experience of Apple and that seriously relates to investors it's very important as investors like I've already touched on to understand what that brand and what that company means to its people now look when you are buying an Apple product whatever that product may be you are buying one of the most advanced and best technology that you could probably purchase <laughs> nobody's done it like Apple and nobody could disagree with that Apple is an OG Apple is a, is, is a beast so when you are purchasing a product from Apple whether that be an iPhone a computer a watch whatever it is that piece of technology is state-of-the-art and it's one of the highest that you could possibly get I mean me myself and I own four Apple products I have a watch I have a phone I have an iPad I have a MacBook Pro so I myself have an insane amount of Apple <laughs> in my possession because I love it that much. Let's just take the laptop for example. Now, even though aesthetically it has not changed way too much, it just continues to get better and better. And as you can see, I personally have a 16 inch MacBook Pro with the Intel Core i9, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte storage, AMD Radeon Pro 5500 graphics. And this thing is an absolute animal. Plus it's the most clean, sleek, luxurious looking workhorse of a laptop I have ever seen and yes I did go a little bougie with the specs on mine mine is a little bit of a higher grade I guess but as a content creator and as somebody who does YouTube full-time all that kind of stuff it's very important to have a workhorse laptop that you can use anywhere 
I just know this laptop is going to perform in every single way that I need it to. And as a professional person who uses laptops and technology, which I feel like at this point is everybody, it is crucial to know that your device is gonna have no hiccups and it's going to work for you pretty much at all times. I also have the 2020 iPad Pro 512 gigabyte, which I use literally for everything, absolutely everything. I use it more than my computer. Like I mentioned, I got my iPhone, my iWatch, which I'm honestly hoping to upgrade both my phone and my watch watch at the end of the year, but we shall see if your girl has enough moolah for that. So some of you may be thinking, yeah, so what? You own a lot of Apple. You just really like Apple. There's people out there that really don't like Apple. They prefer PCs. They prefer Android. They prefer other desktops. They prefer, you know, their own built PC. And yes, like granted, that is accurate. That's true. It is my preference, but let's put our hat from consumer to investor and really understand kind of what this behavior is. I'm obviously obsessed with Apple. I believe in their product. I love their product. They work for me I believe they're like a luxurious type of item and uh, I just want that in my life it's this very specific feeling that you get when you buy an Apple product there's the feeling inside you just get excited you get like warm and fuzzy you feel kind of on top of the world you feel like a badass because yeah you just threw some coins on it most likely because they're really expensive you just get this premium feeling so as an investor I know that feeling that consumers and customers get I know that addictive kind of like want and need for an Apple products, which is why Apple can sell an iWatch band for $50 and people buy it when you could go to Amazon and purchase a band for like 15 or 20 bucks. It's just that understanding, that feeling of knowing that you're getting it directly from Apple itself, which you know is going to be a great experience for you and you know it's going to be a great product. So this is a beautiful thing as an investor because you know that Apple has it figured out. Apple can charge ridiculous prices for their products and still sell out. People crave that Apple experience. Experience. people crave the ability to say they have all these Apple products that as an investor is one of the best things a company can do is just be so desired by a consumer that it doesn't matter how much these prices are it doesn't matter what they do these people want Apple products that almost makes you feel like it's unstoppable people were always going to be there and there's no way that Apple's gonna sink ship it's just looking very bright like Apple could literally maybe at the beginning of this pandemic honestly maybe even now and in the future, Apple could have released a six pack of toilet paper, you know, and, and put their little Apple logo in the sheets, made out of some premium quality paper, really marketed it in the way that only Apple knows how to market things and literally sell it for $30 and people would buy it. People would want to get their hands on the Apple toilet paper and people would shell out $30 for six rolls of Apple toilet paper, which you can't say that for a lot of companies like Lululemon. Okay, that's a very luxurious yoga athletic brand, but if they came out with a toilet paper nobody would try to buy that like nobody would care to buy that but because it's Apple people want to at least try it people want to get their hands on it because the brand of Apple is so hot it literally doesn't matter people will buy it and as an investor you want a company that just dominates like that the next thing I want to talk about as an investor and why it really really matters what companies are doing on a business level is just just talking about the pure domination and ecosystem of Apple products to its customer to its consumer I mean the fact I've said this before in other videos but the fact that I can take a photo on my phone airdrop it whatever the hell that means to my computer edit it take the edited version airdrop it to my iPad upload it on my Instagram like the fact there's no wires there's no this there's no that and everything is just sent to one another and I can get all my work done without a damn cord it's just it's awesome it's so 2020 it's so 2050 and beyond and the simplicity of just using these products together is just it's butter there's no hiccups no nothing the ecosystem is unmatched and pretty much once you have Apple and you work in that kind of environment and you have that be so easy you don't switch out of it <laughs> you don't you're not gonna go back to another laptop a different phone so let's just dive in and let's just focus on the iPhone for a second because Apple's revenue is 50% just from the iPhone alone it makes up that much of its revenue which is huge that's a big big product for Apple so right now I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on the screen a little article I found about iPhone user share basically um, and talking about how many people have it. So 100 million people in the United States currently use an iPhone. Overall, more than 250 million people have access to smartphones. So the market is very high, it's 80% of people. And uh, if you keep kind of reading this, I know it's going a little fast, you can pause it if you want to, but it's basically showing here the share of smartphone users that use an Apple iPhone from 2014 to 2021. And as you can see, it's really 
increasing. Not like a ton, but steady year after year after year, this continues to grow. And now the next little uh, data chart thing that I'm gonna show you is relative to market share for a mobile operating system. So like iOS, Android, that kind of stuff. Now you can see iOS is about 60%, Android's in second around 40%, and then there's really no competition after that. I believe it's just going to continue based off the other chart we just saw to grow a little bit incremental every single year. And then I found another quick little study from 20. 17 so almost four years ago this study is a little bit outdated but it does say that the average American household owns 2.6 Apple products now I would go out on a limb to probably say that is definitely increased they're just going to continue to grind they're gonna continue to get new products they're gonna continue to push out the best technology and obviously consumers are just going to continue to eat that up and as an investor that is music to your damn ears that just you just hear cha-ching 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 you just hear the money flowing in having a brand and a business that is so craved by people I think should be the number one thing you look at when you put your money there I mean look at Tesla for example I mean Tesla doesn't even have the numbers to justify the price that it's at right now but people are so in love with that company that they're willing to spend a premium for that stock price but you know it just happens that Apple has the numbers to back it up which makes you feel very safe and secure as an investor Tesla uh, but I'm just saying that like the hype is real a hype matters Apple Apple's definitely got that. I mean, they're just dominating, and as an investor, I don't think there's anything more crucial than just pure market domination like that, and uh, I don't know. I'm just, I very rarely feel as strongly about companies as I do with Apple, and I just really wanted to talk about it because it's my favorite, and I have so many little babies in my portfolio, but Apple's definitely my number one. It's my largest holding. I'm trying to get to 15 shares, but you know, they're still kind of expensive right now, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'll probably add one or two this month. We'll see, but what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? I mean, it's hard to, I feel like like it's hard to disagree with me but if you do shoot your shot down below in the comments and if you made it this far in this whole damn video I don't know how long it was probably too long can you go ahead and just smash the thumbs up button because your girl's really excited and comment down below Apple because we got to just spread the news okay if you got $150 today buy share Apple buy share AT&T and thank me later and if you've made it this far you already know that you are the real MVP come here you know I love you and like always you guys enjoy the journey whatever your journey is and always remember to do what sets your hearts on fire and I'll catch you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.